Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I am Mick Alphanine. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and please click that like button, turn it into a rocket, and send it straight to Mars. So now I'm on decrypt.co, and this article is written by Jeff John Roberts. And it says, a Fidelity Bitcoin ETF would be everyone's gain, but grayscale's pain. This is major, okay? So Fidelity is trying to start up an ETF and uh, they are waiting for the SEC approval. I believe that's, that's what this is. And if they do that, then of course, Grayscale no longer has that market corner. But let's, let's read a little bit and find out more information about this. For years, Bitcoin companies have been banging on the SEC's door in hopes of launching a Bitcoin ETF, only to have the agency reply with a hard no. By now, one of the companies at the door is the mighty Fidelity Investments, and that's likely a game changer. In case you missed it, the Boston Finance financial giant dropped paperwork this week to create an ETF called the Wise Origin Bitcoin Trust, a name some say is derived from the Japanese kanji for Satoshi Nakamoto. If approved, Fidelity's Bitcoin fund would be traded as shares on public stock exchanges alongside the company's other ETF dedicated, uh, dedicated to bonds, blue chip stocks, and other assets. If this comes to pass, it will be a huge win, not just for Fidelity, but for everyone who owns Bitcoin, because that price is going to skyrocket. I mean, if you believe that Bitcoin has done great things now, you haven't seen anything yet. If this passes, if this happens and they get approval, Bitcoin is going to go just insane, insane. Um, and everyone's going to everyone who has a little bit of Bitcoin. If this happens, they're going to make a lot of delicious money. All right, so let's uh, let's continue on here. The approval of a Bitcoin ETF would add another sheen of legitimacy. Remember, I was saying that to cryptocurrency. And more importantly, it would lead to a flood of new investment from both retail and institutional clients. This is what I was saying before. There are still, you might not believe it, but there are still so many people that are iffy and shaky on Bitcoin. They don't trust it. They're not too certain about it, not too sure. They want people of uh, a certain esteem, a certain prestige to first invest in it. And that gives everyone else the security security they need and the clearance they need to say, hey, I'm gonna, I'm going to put my money into Bitcoin. Bitcoin will explode. The price will parabolically go up. It, it, and the money that will be made will be astronomical. Just astronomical. All right, so this is a major event. The firm brings an aura of old school respectability. Didn't I just say that? I didn't read this article beforehand. I just said that. They are respected. They are trusted. They stand a great chance of this being approved. And you know what, man? I may have to go get a little bit more Bitcoin because I don't want to miss out just in case, just in case. And I'm just going to long hold it. This is personally what I, I might do, might do. I'm going to consider it. I'm going to do a little bit more looking into this and I'm going to continue to keep a close eye on what develops out of this. Because if that does happen, I don't, I definitely don't want to miss out on that. There's going to be a lot of money made. I'm not a financial advisor and I'm not trying to tell you what to do at all whatsoever, but this is huge. This is huge. And that pie, I want a piece of, I want a slice of that pie. If this happens, I want a slice of that cake. That money is going to be insane. And I need to have a little bit of that. So um, <laughs> now that you have that information, what are you going to do with it? Subscribe to the channel, please. I'll greatly appreciate that. Click that like button, turn it into a rocket man and send it to the stratosphere. Until the next time, let's get to the money.